How do you know what size heater kit you need? How do I size heat kits? What KW do I size with each ton unit? And how do I size wire? Wire sizing is super important. Today I'm also going to talk about common problems I have in the field with heat kits and with wire sizing and how to figure out what size breaker you need and how to size the wire to that breaker. Today's video is all about wire sizing and heat kits. I hope you're ready to learn something. Today you're watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I am Tad. Let's get started. I've got a little chart here on the whiteboard that I have wrote out for you so that you can stop the video and you can write all this information down. This is how I size my tonnage and my heater kit. And this is what I have been doing for the last 10 years or more, and it's worked. So if you want a good, reliable piece of information as far as two-ton unit has this KW, three-ton unit has this KW, this right here is going to help you. The first thing I want to go over before I show you this is why we need heater kits. The reason we need heater kits in a split heat pump or a package heat pump is because we need it to hit a balance point. Below 30 degrees, the equipment's capacity can no longer heat the structure because the load or capacity of the structure is more than the capacity of the heat pump. So uh, different heat pumps have different balance points, whether that's 30 degrees or 35 or 25 or 20, but we need that heater kit to be able to heat the structure. The heater kit that you are going to be installing in your equipment is going to be known as the auxiliary heat that is used as well as the heat pump to heat the home and also the emergency heat. And the one thing you want to consider is when you are sizing the heater kit for the equipment, when the inclement weather comes and you have ice covering the customer's equipment and it's to where it's going to damage the equipment and they need to switch it to emergency heat, that they're actually going to have warm air. So you need to be making your field checks with your two ton, your three ton, your four ton, your five ton unit when you get time. After you install it, turn it on emergency heat. That way the heat pump's not running. And then use your dual induct psychrometer to be able to measure the temperature split and see what that supply temperature is. You know that the heat pumps have a 20 degree split. Sometimes it's give or take five degrees, definitely not lower than 20 degrees. I would want it to be more than 20 degrees, but 20 degrees is a rule of thumb for a temperature split that you will have from your return to supply on a heat pump. So if you've got 70 degree inside your home on the thermostat, it should be blowing out at least 90 degree heat. And then when you turn your heaters on, the heat should be well over 90 degrees. It should be a 30 degree split. It should be sometimes a 40 degree split. So you should have a hundred degree or more heat coming out of that vent. That's a check you need to make in the field, but you need to consider wire size and breaker size when you're installing heat kits. Now let's take a look at the chart I've got and I'm going to be giving you my rules of thumb for sizing the heater kits per tonnage. All right. Today's video was also brought to you by a request from a member. Thank you so much, Habib. I really appreciate you as a member. You don't know how much I appreciate you. And I will continue to make videos specific to your needs because not only are you supporting me, but you're watching all my videos, you're hitting that like button, and you're subscribed, and you're a member. If you want the rest of today's video, about wire sizing and heater kits, then definitely become a member. I cannot give you all of this video because there are members that are paying me to do this specific content for them. So I really appreciate if you hit that member button, hit the join button, become a member, and then you'll be able to have access to the rest of this video. And then I'll make videos specifically for you. This has been HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.